world keeps on spinning and Stine Bredal of the Dal keeps on shining. The larger-than-life Norwegian is always full of enthusiasm and has brought it with her to new club gear after making the move last summer. The minute you like move out and especially to a different country, then, then things change a lot and, and that happens a little overnight. My first days here in Gjord, for example, that was really, it was so many impulses and it was a little crazy and a lot of changes, but then you're here one week and it feels more normal. So maybe some of the changes, they happen fast, but they happen well and then, then it ends up being pretty fine anyway. Stine made a dream come true when she made the move to Hungary and was happy to show us around the place she now calls home. However, it hasn't always been smooth sailing. I think you always feel a little pressure when you, when you end up signing for a big club like this. And then of course when you manage to sign, you, you want to be good as well. You want to not screw up in a way and to, to be a big part of the team and be one of those who matters. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's also like my dream uh, and sometimes it gets really difficult in the beginning and I was also kind of prepared for that. I was thinking that, okay, there might come like difficult weeks, months, even the first year might be difficult, but they signed you for a reason, or at least I tried to think that. The likeable centre-back wants to go to the top with gear while her love life seems to have found the summit already. THW Kiel's Rune Damke is the man in her life. Now I think the fact that my boyfriend also plays handball in this, uh, this level, that's sometimes difficult when it comes to seeing each other. I, of course, it's, it's still pretty fresh for us and I, I will honestly want to see him all the time, so, uh, so that's the hard part of it. At the same time, I also feel like the understanding is there. If I play good or if I play bad, he kind of, he kind of know both of those feelings and knows a little more what to say and sometimes if it's smart not to say anything. So uh, I think it's, it's really good. She takes that positive energy onto the court as well. The World Championships MVP has certainly found her way at Gjør, even if it was a slightly rocky start. One thing is also to play Champions League for the first time, but I was going to play Champions League for the first time in the club that won the last year. Uh, that was uh, quite yeah, extraordinary in a way. And, and like with the, the audience that Gjør has here, uh, these fans, and it's amazing to fill up that stadium and. It's always this really great atmosphere. Stina is her team's top scorer with 49 goals and the driving force behind sending Gjør to the final four in Budapest. An almost certainty thanks to her recent displays. Just to play with so many great players every day on training that, that yeah, he does something with you and you, you have to kind of try to take the, the level even more and that pushes you. Uh, of course, I hope that I can be a lot better still. I, uh, I, want, to, I want to be the best that, yeah what's possible and, and, I, and I know that I still have a lot of things that I can progress on so I hope that this up curve will continue. Stina Oftedal on her way to the top and nothing is gonna stand in her way.